Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we will start the Jamma Al Mu'annas Salim. You already learnt about Jamma Mu'annas Salim a little bit. So you know that when a singular word is majroor, it has kasra. When mufrad is sum is majroor, it has kasra. When musanna is sum is majroor, it has this ya, or you can say fata ya sakin noon kasra. And when jama is sum is majroor it has this kasra ya noon kasra ya sakin noon fata so you learned this thing you also learned about the jamma monas okay so this was um, you learned this about the masculine word and in the feminine you also learned that when a singular feminine is sum Mufrid is some monas in majroor. We use kasra with it. And when musanna monas is some is majroor, we use fatta ya skun on kasra. It is same for both masculine and feminine. But when jamma monas salim is majroor, we use kasra with it. Jamma muzakkar salim, we use kasra ya sakin noon fata but in jamma mona salim we use kasra you learned these things last time so same thing will be told to you that when jamma mona salim is majroor we will use kasra with it okay so the first student is miss mishka Starting from here. The, the sound feminine, flow feminine, genetic indication. Jamal Monas Salim, Wala Matum, Jarra. Jarri. Jarri. The sound feminine plural occurs in the genetic form like any singular noun, i.e., with a kasra. Example, the wells are for the girls. Al Barakiul Banati. Aisha is among the righteous. Aisha to Minasoli had. I asked about the students. The Altu and a Taliban. So you learn that when Jama Munasalim is Majur, we'll use Kasavila. Next, we have Shibul Jumla prepositional phase. Whenever you, you see our figure with the ism, then this means it is a Shibul Jumla prepositional phrase. Okay. Whenever you see our figure with the ism, it is called Shibul Jumla. Before this, you know that a Jumla Ismiya has two parts. First part is called Mutada and second part is Khabar. And you saw that Mutada always come first and then come the Khabar. But here you will see it is opposite. Khabar comes first, Mutada comes after it. So the rule is this, that when Muptada is Nakira, when Muptada is Nakira, when Muptada is Nakira and the Khabar is Shibul Jumla, then the Khabar will come first and the Muptada will come after it. Okay, so you better remember this point. 
normally sentence is like this mubtada plus khabar like ali talibun ali is a student here you see ali is marifa and the khabar does not has does not has harf jar so the main thing is whenever the mubtada is marfa it will come before the khabar but let's suppose mubtada is nakira this time the mubtada is walad so you see walad is nakira here and the second thing first thing mubtada is nakira and the khabar mubtada is nakira and the second thing the khabar is shib hul jumla so al waladu ma talibi ma is not her fajr but we need some her fajr walad waladu be talibin the boy a boy is with the student so here you see the khabar is shibul jumla shib hul jumla so in that case this pattern will be reversed so this sentence waladu bi talib is basically wrong we can call it wrong at the moment for your ease so the pattern will be like this khabar plus mubtada so you will write bi talibin waladun with the student there is a boy so remember <clears throat> when mubtada is marifa it will come first then come the khabar but when the mubtada is nakira and the khabar has harf jar in it the khabar has harf jar in it it is shibu jumla then the khabar will come first then the come the mubtada okay any question Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. If um um Mubtada is Nakran. Sorry, what is your question? I mean, if um uh, Mubtada hmm? with alif and lam, that's yes. Marifa. Yes, if Mubtada has alif lam, then it is Marifa. Correct. Okay. So in this example, the walad does not has alif lam, so this means it is nakira. And the previous example, the ali, the word ali was marifa because it is a proper noun. Okay. So now we'll study what is prepositional phrase shibul jumla. So the next student is Miss Faz Adana. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. The preposition place. The place comprising a preposition and the noun following it. Jar wa mojibu. Is termed shibu ajumla in Arabic grammar. 
So what is Shibu Jumla? Tell me. Your question, please. What is Shibul Jumla? A Shibul Jumla? Explain me in your own words and give me some example. When the when you see a noun when you see a noun with the harfijar, then it is called shibul jumla. For example, when we see a noun when with the uh, with preposition or yeah. fajar, then it is called shibul jumla. Okay, so this whole phrase minal bin the from the girl is called shibul jumla okay that that means that uh, there will be roof ajar before announce uh, announce yes so the you can say harfe jar plus isam they together make shibul jumla okay okay so if i ask you what is shibul jumla what will you say uh, when the after come before the name, the nouns. Or you can also say combination, combination, combination of, of and ism is called shibul jumla. Okay. Okay. Try to understand the grammar in your own words, then it will become easy. If you copy the words okay. from the book, it will become difficult. Next, if the subject Mopsida is a nominal synthesis, a jumla is mea, is followed by a prepositional phrase, Jar Wamajuru. This uh, prepositional phrase is stem the, the pred predicate, e.g. A kitabu al al maktabi. In this sentences, al kitabu is the subject, and the following phrases are uh, phrase uh, al al maktabi is it is predicate. What is subject called in Arabic? A subject is fa'il or maktada. Mm -hmm. Muptada, okay. Muptada. Yes. And what is predicate called in Arabic? Uh, Anyone? Khabar. 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 So, subject is called Muptada and predicate is called Khabar. So, here he is telling you that when the sentence has Muptada, then the Shibul Jumla will be called Khabar. Okay. Okay. Next. Uh, often a shape or jumla precedes it is subject, in which case the subject is an indefinite noun. Mm -hmm. E.g., there is a student in the class. Fifth person, Taliban. The predicates. Fi fossil in this synthesis is term Shibu Ajumla Kabal Mukadam. Why the subject Talib is term Mabtada Muakar? Because it occurs later contrary to the usual sequence. What did he tell you here? Uh, it means that. Uh, In when when the mukta is nakira nakara and the khabar is shibul jumla and the khabar is shibul jumla then sh sh um, khabar will come first 
and Muqtada will come after it. Okay. Normally, normal pattern is Muqtada plus plus Khabar. But when when the Muqtada is Nakira and the Khabar is Shibul Jumla, then the pattern will be opposite. Khabar plus Muqtada. Okay. So here you see Talib is Muqtada and Fil Fasli is Khabar. So we are not saying Talibun Fil Fasli, but we are saying Fil Fasli Talibun. Okay. Yes. So tell me when Khabar comes first and when Muqtada comes first. An indefinite now. When Muqtada is indefinite, when Muqtada is Nakira and the Khabar is Shibul Jumla, then Khabar comes first. Two conditions. What is the first condition? Muqtada is Nakira. Nakira. For the Dana, you better write and then you will understand it. Yes, no. So the question when will move? Let me write like this. Plus Hubber. Hubber plus Muptada. So you see, we have two patterns of Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Jumla Ismiya. So tell me when will we use this pattern and when will we use this pattern? Anyone can answer. When Muptada is Marefa, the first one. Muptada, Awal, and Kawara. Yes. Let me when Muptada uh, is Nakira, then. And we have Nakira and. When, okay. when, when Muqtada is modified, you will use this pattern, okay? And when will we use the other pattern? When Muqtada is uh, Nakira, Nakira and Khabar is Shibu Jumla. Shibu Jumla. Sir, we, if we have Shibu Jumla in first one with Marifa, so the pattern is same? Yes. Shibu oh. Jumla does not affect the Marifa. But it affects the yeah. Nakira. Okay. So here it has two conditions. One condition and second condition. These two conditions must be fulfilled. Then Khabar will come first. Otherwise, Khabar will not come first. If any of these two fails. Okay. Understood? Fazadana, can you explain me now or not? Uh, no. When... <coughs> As the Jumla is me, a Moptada will cover. And Moptada is a Marifa will cover Nakira. Cover does not matter, but it can be anything. It can be Shibul Jumla, it can be uh, Nakira, it can be anything in this pattern. When it is Marfa, Marfa will come first. What about this pattern? When will you use this pattern? But when, when it is a Shiba Jumla, uh, it will not move to the Nakra while cover it will not move. Okay. Is that correct? Yes, correct. Now we have examples for this. Pause it on the read the examples also. Hello? Yes, read the examples. Okay. Uh, Zaidi has a sister. Zaidi Okta. Oktu. There is good in the believers. The Fimominina Khair. 
the two principal have two cars. Lilimudilin Sayaratan. Anybody, any question? Now we will learn the Arab of Mamnu Minasar. First, we need to know what is Mamnu Minasar. Can anyone tell me what is Mamnu Minasar? If you remember, I once told you that in Arabic, the normal ending of every ism is the matain. Okay. In Arabic, the normal ending of every mufrad ism is the matain. Mr. Jibril. What is the normal ending of every Mufridism in Arabic? The Matain. Okay. But there are some Mufridism with which we cannot use the Matain. These are called Mamnu Minasar. Okay. Mamnu Minasar. So Jibril, tell me what is Mamnoon Minasaf? The Mamnoon Minasaf are the ism that does not follow the rule of uh, the Matain ending yes. in the last letter. So you can say that with Mamnoon Minasaf, we cannot use the Tanween, okay? No. You can never use the Tanween with Mamnoon Minasaf. Okay, in Mufridism, we know what are the Arabs. In Mufridism, you all know that when the Islam is marfu, we use the Matain. When it is Mansub, we use Fata, Fatatain. And when it is Majur, we use Kasratain. And when it has Alif Lam, then we will use one Dhamma for Marfu, one Fata for Mansub, and one Kasra for Majroor. Majroor. But the question is, what will we use with the Mamnoom Nasar? So <clears throat> I will give you an example of <clears throat> Mamnoom Nasar, which is Fatima. Fatima is Mamnoom Nasar. This means you cannot use Tanween we need. So when the word Fatima will be marfu, you will use only the ma with it. Okay. When it is mansub, you will use fata with it. And when it is majroor, you will use fata with it. No kasra, okay. No kasra. So Jibreel, tell me what are the Arab of Mamnu Minasar? Yes, sir. The Arab of the Mamnu Minasar is that it does not allow uh, at the matin at the end of the letter. Okay. <clears throat> it only it will only take uh, a dhamma, a fata, and a kasra when it is majru. Okay. When will it take dhamma? Sorry, sir. I didn't get that. When will Mamnu Minasar take Dhamma? When it is um, Marfu. And when will Mamnu Minasar will take Fata? When it is Mansub. Okay. And when will it take Kasra? When it is Majru. It will but never no take, Kasra. It will it's never no Kasra. take Kasra. So if I say. Yeah you will say that your question is wrong. It will never take Kasra. If it does not take Kasra, then one, what will be its era when it is Majru? It will Fata, okay? Will, Fata. Will take Fata, yes sir. So if I ask you to make the word Fatima Marfu, you will put just the Maher. If I ask you to make the word Fatima Mansub, you will put Fatah here. If I ask you 
to make the word Fatima Majroor, will you put Kasra or something else? Fata. Fata. Okay. We cannot Fata. use Kasra with Mamnu Minasab. Okay. So Fatima tu, Fatima ta, Fatima ta. Any question? Jubilee, read this. <clears throat> Mr. Jubilee. Miss Rama. Yes, sir, I'm here. Okay, read. Yes, sir. Declension of deputies. Al Irab, Al Irab al Ismi, Al Mamno e Minasarf. Examples Aisha is older than Fatima. Aisha tu Akberu min Fatima. I prayed in many mosques. Sallay tu fi Masajida. I passed by the desert. Marartu besoraya. So here we see all of these sentences have halfajar min fi bi, but still we yeah. are not using kasra because they are mamnu minasarf, and with mamnu minasarf you cannot use kasra, you cannot use tanwin. Okay, you better write this. Sir, second and third uh, is uh, Jumla Felia, no? Sallai to Jumla Felia, Marat to Jumla Felia, correct. Yeah. First is Ismia. Uh -huh. Yes. So you better write this. You all write this with the Mamnu Minas Surf. We cannot use tanween and we cannot use kasra kasra you all better note it explanatory note no they will explain you whatever you have read here you will read this all right, sir. In Arabic, there are certain types of nouns which are never nonized. What that is, is the meaning of they never be a nonation. Then, when okay. such nouns are known as diptychs, asma ul ghayru, asma u ghayru ghayru munsorifa, or asma u mamnu u. Had to mean a surf. These nouns are distinguished by another characteristics. Their genitive is indicated by a fatha a in the accusative case. Diptus includes several proper nouns. Aisha, Khadija. Some broken plurals. Shawareu, Masajidu. Those nouns which end in Alif. Put Alif to the Nasi Al Mamduda. Alif to Alif Sil. Taniat Al Mamduda. Tani Sil. Nam. Anivu Tanisal Mamduda Tanisal Mamduda Hamrau Sorau Harjau, etc. In sentence number one, Fatimata in the genitive case because it is preceded by the proposition. Min. The genitive indication is a fatha, a, not a kestra, e. The reason being that it, the reason that being that it, the noun fatima, 
is a diptych. The declension of this noun is as follows. Majrur bimin wallamatu jarri il fata'atu annahu gayru monsarif. The word masajid and sa'ara'a in sentence number two and three respectively, are uh, majururu bel fata'at. Because they are diptus. Besides this, there are other kinds of diptus which will be dealt with in the third volume of this book. Anybody, any question? Next, we have the rules. Whatever we have learned in this chapter is explained here. So the next student is Miss Rahma. If a noun is preceded by preposition, harufu jar, it occurs in the genitive case. Some preposition are ka, an, ala, ila, min, Li fi. In this, when this now are the preposition half jar along the now after it, majuru make up a preposition emphasis shub shub shubu jumla. The preposition emphasis can occur at the predicate. Hobar in normal sentence. Full in the blanks with in the blanks. Okay. Okay, here is asking you to fill this blank with some appropriate preposition. So what is in the first one? Anyone can answer. Allah. Which means the child is on the flower. It, Al-Kalamu. Not possible. Not possible. No, I was reading this. Al-Kalamu. I saw the second one. Okay. Anyone? Ma? Atiflatu ma zaharatin. The child is with the flower. Okay. You can say Atiflatu ka zaharatin. The baby child is like a flower. Next. Ali Kalamu Litta. Kalamu Bitta Alibaki. Anukudu. The cash. Anukud mean cash. Al Mefaza wallet. Fill. Fill and no do fill me faza. In this way, you will do it. Exercise to fill in the blanks with suitable noun and genitive case. You need to put any majrur word here. Anyone? Fill hakibati. Fill hakibati no kudu. In the bag, there is cash. Next. Animal. 